Hey, what's up guys? KCB Boy here, back with another ROM video for you guys for your Galaxy Nexus. And today I have a near ROM. And this ROM is available for all variants of the Galaxy Nexus, whether you have the GSM version, Sprint, or Verizon. And uh, I've been using this ROM for the past couple of days now, and I really like it a lot. The performance on this ROM is extremely solid, and everything is just really, really smooth and fast, whether you're just swiping between the home screens or uh, swiping between your applications or even the widget drawer um, where the Galaxy Nexus tends to struggle a little bit at least in a lot of other ROMs I've tried it's actually relatively smooth here for the most part so you can see that there it's definitely a lot smoother than I've seen in a lot of other ROMs that's for sure so the performance in this ROM is just very very solid applications open really quickly as well and you can see that there when you open up the camera here so it's just very, very fast and very fluid as well. Um, so I really like this ROM in terms of the performance. But let's go ahead and just jump into the settings here and we'll check out about phone. And you can see it's Android version 4.2.2 and uh, it's running its own kernel here, veneer kernel, but you can flash any kernel of your choice, obviously. Um, but all your customizations are gonna be right here under veneer customizations and you also have advanced settings as well, but we'll get into all of that. Let's jump into veneer customizations real quick. So here you have your quick settings, pie control, lock screen customizations, uh, navigation bar, you have volume rocker, wake, and music controls, uh, kill app back button, uh, enable fast torch, which will let you hold down the power button to turn on the flash. Let me show you that real quick here. And there you go, you see the flash turns on and the second you let go of the button, it'll shut right off. So a pretty cool feature there. Um, also, battery bar style, uh, something you've seen in a lot of ROMs. Um, you can change it to circle with percentage or stock icon, whichever you want there. Um, you also have UI mode, phone, tablet, or phablet. And custom carrier label down here. And you also have your CRT screen off. And you can actually change the animation mode Horizontal is the default one, which you've always, which uh, you've seen before, which is just like that. And you also have vertical, which is pretty cool as well. So if you like that one instead, there you go. But I personally like horizontal, so I'll change it back there. Um, let's go ahead and jump into quick settings. So in quick settings, you can uh, enable and disable tiles that you want, or and remove the ones that you don't. So there's quite a bit to pick from here, a pretty extensive list. And you can also change the order around as well. You can move these up and down uh, just like so, just by dragging these little tabs here. And uh, let's go ahead and go back. You can change the toggles per row from three, four, or five. I personally have mine set on five. And you can also change the quick pull down from the right, the left, or off. I have mine set on the right here, so if I pull down on the right, It'll take me to my quick settings. If I pull down on the left here, it'll take me to my notifications. And uh, let, that's pretty much it there. So let's go back. Um, you also have Pi. So it does come with Pi here, your typical Pi controls. Um, you can change the colors to whatever colors that you choose. Um, pretty much your typical Pi settings. So let me go ahead and expand the desktop real quick here. And you just swipe up from the bottom here. And uh, there's Pi. And let me go ahead and change that back. You also have your lock screen customizations. So you can uh, set slider shortcuts um, up to an additional four here. I, I just used one, but you can set uh, up to an additional four uh, to whatever you like there. So that's pretty cool there as well. You also have maximized widgets and initial widget hints as well there also. And uh, that's pretty much it there. Let's go ahead and jump back. Um, you also have advanced settings. And in advanced settings, it allows you to tweak the colors of the screen to uh, however you like it. Um, I personally wouldn't really mess with this unless you know what it is that you're doing. But it is there if you want to play around with it. And you can also overclock the GPU as well, all the way to 512 megahertz. So pretty cool there as well. And it also does come with its own theme. Uh, it comes with the stock theme by default, but it comes with this inverted theme, as you can see right there. 
And basically what the inverted theme does is it makes everything black and blue. I can see my notification shade is black and blue. And my settings here is black and blue as well. And it does, uh, it themes the apps as well. So your dialer, black and blue there. Same thing with your SMS and your keyboard as well. This is a stock Android keyboard here. So pretty cool there. I like the theme a lot. I think it looks really sharp. I like the black and blue theme. So I decided to uh, use that there. And uh, let's see what else here. Also has a uh, notification light settings here under display. So you can just jump in here and set custom values to specific applications. Like I have red. So whenever I get a Gmail, my LED will light up red there. So uh, whatever you want, you can set that here. Let's go ahead and jump back. You also have 180 degree rotation. So you can actually use the phone upside down just like that there. So pretty cool with that as well. Um, and I think that's pretty much all the stuff that you can do with this ROM, but uh, overall the ROM is very fast and smooth and very stable as well. I've only encountered uh, one bug so far with this ROM, and that's when you have the expanded desktop enabled. And I don't know if other people are experiencing the same thing, but this is just something that I personally notice uh, myself. And so with the expanded desktop on, and I pull the notification shade down, it actually doesn't reach the bottom. It still stops as if the navigation bar is still there. So a uh, pretty minor bug. It's the only bug that I've noticed so far though. But overall, the uh, I really like this ROM a lot. It's just one of the fastest ROMs I've ever used for the Galaxy Nexus, and it's just very stable as well. So definitely um, check this ROM out. I do recommend it. And I'll leave a link to it down below in the description right below the like button. So check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them down below as well. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit that like button for me and subscribe button as well if you haven't already. I try to put videos out at least once or twice a week. So um, yeah, so make sure you subscribe if you, if you don't wanna miss out on those. And that's pretty much it guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.